one of the things that I talked about pretty extensively and, and used as an analogy throughout much of my teaching was this idea of, uh, of the good craftsman being a reflection of the good man. Now, I don't necessarily mean that literally in the sense that you have to be a craftsman in order to be a good man, so don't read that into what I'm saying. That, that's not really what I'm saying at all. It's just the idea of being good at one's craft, no matter what that craft is, and then that imparting itself on you a great amount of of goodness and it ultimately leading you to living a more fulfilled and better life. Uh, some people might look at the situation and say, well, you know, there, Paul, if you uh, give yourself fully over to something and then it doesn't work out, then you wind up um, uh, having that thing that was supposed to act as that light and, light and dark places. It kind of becomes the that dark thing to to which i uh kind of reply that yeah i mean like that that can happen um but typically only if we allow it to happen so yeah the kind of the basic fundamental uh thing that we we have to have in society in order to be able to act in the world is trust because how could i walk out of my door each day and uh plan on doing anything if I didn't trust the idea that someone's not going to try to to gun me down, you know, to to uh, to kill me before I uh, get on get along with my day, the kind of one of the the fundamental natures of reality is one built out of this idea of trust. If you are uh, un unable to, uh, uh, to to trust others, is that so much an observation of the world around you, or or is it a confession of who you are as a person? Is it that you don't trust the the world around you because the world around you is flawed or is it because you yourself are a very very untrustworthy maligned person and i tend to think based off of my experiences in life that the 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 latter is typically more true than the former could be wrong but i don't think that i am so as i typically uh, end a discussion like this with my students if you're going to be a craftsman be the best one that you can be. If you're going to be a lawyer, be a good one. If you're going to be a teacher, be a good one. If you're going to be a scientist, be a good one. No matter what it is, if you're going to make pizzas, do all of these things to the best of your ability and allow that goodness to leave its mark on who you are fundamentally as a person.